BBC Radio 1. Chris and Johnny, hello. Hi, Greg. No closer than that. Not allowed. BBC rules. I thought it was the restraining order. Bit of both. OK. <laughs> but it's very nice to see you not on a screen in real life. It's great. And we're in a gig venue. You've made the Abbey into a gig venue. It's beautiful. The sun is shining. Can you tell us why we're in Whitby? Well, first of all, it's just stunning and beautiful and somewhere we don't often get to play. Uh, well, when never. I say often, well, yeah, <laughs> somewhere we never get to play. And uh, I just saw a picture of it. Oh, I saw geese. Um, that, I saw a picture of it a few months ago and your company, Radio One, with, we were in negotiations about where we might play. Yeah. And, they, and then we came to an agreement that this was beautiful and affordable. <laughs> yes, and, that, and that's crucial. We asked, we asked if you might patch up the abbey and rebuild it, but mm-hmm. apparently that was over budget. I tried. Yeah. I tried to. Just to put a new roof on and <laughs> spruce it up a bit. To actually play a show, although all, you know, no people, but still to actually be somewhere else and to be on, in a beautiful location feels extremely kind of exotic and, uh, and, and we feel very privileged to yeah. be out of the house. <laughs> yeah, that's where we are in the pandemic, isn't it? Any trip from where you live is exotic. Yep. And so, Whitby is beautiful, to be fair. It is kind of yeah. exotic. It couldn't be, couldn't be further removed from, from my everyday, my, my normal everyday life. So I'm, I'm, I'm very grateful to be here. Absolutely. Yeah. Have you been here before? Yeah, I've been once. Have you been, George? No, but my dad came camping here in 1965. Really? <laughs> he told me, yeah. I came here as a as a young boy and um, I won loads of money on a slot machine. Well, I say loads of money, I won 80p, but that was a lot for me because I only put in 2p. <laughs> that is a big win. That's a big, it's a, it's a how many percent win? It's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> and with that 80 pence, you started Coldplay. Yeah. <laughs> no, with that 80 pence, I ate loads of fudge. So can you talk about what you were doing in Whitby, in the chip shop, is that, are we allowed to talk about this a bit? Yes. Halfway through all of our concerts, Johnny demands a nap. And so we have to <laughs> film something else to put in that slot. So he says, Chris, you go and do, film some artsy stuff. I'm yeah. going to have a sleep. Playing the guitar is quite tiring. Yeah, yeah, yeah I bet. So we went to film uh, a, new, <clears throat> a new song. Okay. While Johnny had a sleep. And uh, that's what we were doing in the chip shop. Great. Can you tell us about the new song, please? Yes, it's a song called Human Heart, and um, it has some guest singers on it. Today we're singing with this group called We Are King, who are from America, and they're wonderful. And also on that track is a guy called Jacob Collier. Oh, yeah. wow, yeah. he's major. Yeah, so it's great to be the, the third best singer on that song. <laughs> <laughs> it's, that's literally the truth. Has, who, who's won more Grammys, Jacob Collier or Coldplay? I think pound for pound, he's about 10,000 ahead of us. Yeah, he's yeah. prolific. But that's, that's because exciting. he's incredible. That's really exciting. It's not a rig, you know, he's really good. So in the chip shop, yeah. with Human Heart, the song, yeah. yeah. you had a, did you have a fake heart? Yes. Well, I've not seen this, but there's, there's rumours going around Whitby. There's three, three fake hearts. They're not fake, they're just not human. Okay. Ironically, because the song is, no, there's a, it's a new kind of, um, clothing that does stuff okay and what about the vinyl because there's a vinyl of the song that's been cut yes it's the only copy in the world of that song and we still can't sell that one i i've brought my debit card you have okay yeah do you have contacts? So we, had, we had a jukebox and um and a, and a vinyl cut of this song my favorite song of these new songs is is hopefully going to be played tonight in some form yeah it's very different it's Isn't um it? yeah it's, it's unlike anything we've ever done before. We'd like to try and save some surprises for, I don't know when, some other time. Yeah. And also... We need on. to do some more rehearsals. Yes, we need to do some more rehearsals. <laughs> so, great to have Coldplay back, great to have new music, higher power, you know I've told you over video call that I love it. I'm telling you in real life now that I really love Thanks, it. Thanks, Greg, we were grateful. It seems to be going down well and it was obviously your record of the week thank you so much you're welcome um, <laughs> you're a little kick down uh, the hill yeah. <laughs> you know i think for us it's just we feel like it's a great song to kind of come back with because mm. of the energy and the message that that is within the song mm. it felt like a good time to release that kind of music so was it quite a long 
time you were sort of keeping it ready, the song? I mean, we started recording it about probably a year and a half ago, I think. I mean, yeah. Um, so yes, yeah, quite long, but we've, uh, it feels great to be finally able to play live, if only to you. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. I mean, it's just going to be me. But you know what makes me happy, Greg, is that you pressed your trousers so beautifully. Yes, I did. That we, how could we not play for you? Yeah, I mean, I've not, I've not been at a gig for such a long time. Well, this is what you wear to a gig these <laughs> this days. Is, this is it. So smart I thought, cash. I'm wearing smart cash today. <laughs> so obviously you were working this song, all these songs, yep. Goose, which are, we're not really sure is an album. We're not saying it's an album yet, or are we saying it's, it's an not, album? not an album it's not who knows i don't know you you're the king of saying things you're not supposed to so do you tell us what what, what? do you want to tell the we, viewers what happened yeah yeah well we drove into whitby and it seemed to be mainly populated with security guards and i said why are all the security guards i thought this was a secret and someone said oh greg james that's all they said <laughs> i may or may not this have gone greg on, james is doing i went on the one show and told everyone it was at whitby abbey but they, That's great. they're, I think it's they're great. persuasive, the one show. Listen, we'll play to anybody, if, even if it's 50 paid security guards facing the other way. I hate happy. that you know that, by the way. I hate <laughs> that that has got to you. It, oh. got, it came all the way to the top, Greg. Yeah. And I had to tell Johnny, he yeah. was furious. Oh, I've been livid all day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, heard, I heard a rumour that there might be, at the end of the set, a song which you very rarely ever play. Uh, no, wait, first of all, we are going to play another new song, but but you can't broadcast it for a bit. Okay, you're telling the wrong guy. I am very very bad with secrets. Okay, <laughs> you're talking about a song called "Life Is for Living." I am. We're yeah. not going to play that. I'm sorry. Right, let's strike that from the record. <laughs> we don't. We didn't have time to rehearse it, but we'll play it another time if you like. I'd love to. Yeah, it's a well, it's a secret track. Of course. Yes. When you all came together again, it must have been a wonderful relief to see each other. But you had to kind of fly into. COVID secure areas and stuff was obviously quite a weird situation. Yeah, it was all, it was a sort of strange version of the Big Brother house all last year for us. <laughs> yeah. And Will kept saying, if this was Big Brother, you'd be evicted because he doesn't like me. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but he, didn't, he, never, he didn't even say that once. But we, we actually saw each other more than anyone else last year. Yeah. So I was very grateful. We, I don't know how you felt about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was, it was really nice. It was, it was nice to be able to, uh, work and be able to occasionally leave the house you know it was it, we felt pretty yeah. pretty good about that we had to get permission to meet here and meet there and yeah so we were really lucky and you were there with max martin max yeah. martin yeah super mega producer yeah. the man who has basically been pop music for the last yes. 20 30 yes. years nearly. until now <laughs> well no but this is it but higher power is the perfect combination of coldplay and max martin yeah. and but it must have been an odd experience to let well, I suppose anyone knew it, a new producer, but uh, did it happen quite naturally? It happened really organic. We were heading towards each other for a long time and we love him very much and liked him very much as a person before. Then it just felt like the right time and we said, would you like to come and work with us? And then he said yes and then we sort of worked out each other's conditions and I had to go and audition songs for him. And, you know, so for us it was really humbling and very 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 fresh yeah but it was also kind of freeing you know it felt like the most fun we've had in the studio well certainly for a long time because suddenly there was someone there who were like oh right yeah you've yeah. done <laughs> you've done everything yeah. i think also there's max just has such a legacy of of extraordinary songwriting not just producing songwriting and i think that really it's not there's not there aren't many people that um that I feel can sort of penetrate our little circle of trust and it has to be someone really special and so Max has that you know his, his legacy is sort of is so profound that we, we just have an innate trust in him and, and I think he came along at a quite an early stage for the for the songwriting and so he was part of it early on and so I did I felt like they I didn't have to wield my axe <laughs> so, so many times because Max had already done the axing you it's know. really a miracle that he's joined us for a while and we're extremely grateful because it could have really not worked and we feel like we're just the luckiest band out there to have him right in the thick of it. Did it feel like a big new challenge? Yeah, absolutely. And I think 
no, the, the first thing Max said was like, right, I'm going to come get your songs together, please. I'm going to, so I had to sit and play the skeletons of certain songs yeah. to him for him to decide if he wanted to work on them. So that was very nerve wracking for me. And then at, at each stage with each of us, I think it was the same. Yeah. But that's really healthy, you know. It's, it's wonderful to work with someone infinitely more successful because you feel like you have a lot to prove and, and, and you have a lot of faith in them. Interesting though, because you, you spend your sort of writing life and rehearsing life looking forward. Yeah. When you do shows, you have to constantly look back at yeah. the other songs and it's quite a strange dichotomy that, isn't it? Yeah. And that you, but you, you're a band that wants to keep going, but you have to be like, oh, we'd better slot that one in because people like that. And but I think it is, yeah, we, but they go through a fa uh, process of sort of constant renewal. I think every time you, we come to go on tour again, you think, well, how, how will we do this? And you know, what will be different? And yeah, like we just changed the song Yellow to Purple. <laughs> keep it fresh. Guy, guy, guy actually said that he changes it mid set sometimes. He does. Yeah. <laughs> And Sometimes I was guy likes to change key without yeah, telling us. Right, well that's why I was wondering and then he gets he looks a look. and goes, any, any good guys? Any good? Well he'll change key and then he'll get Will's nostril flare, which you do not want to get. Yeah. If Will looks at you and flares his nostrils, it's, you, you might as well go home. Yeah. I've had it a lot. What, uh, like this. <laughs> which means I made a big mistake. But he says he makes mistakes sometimes. And has but he's allowed to. He's the yeah. anchor of the band. And no one flares their nostrils at will. No one. <laughs> no, no one would dare. No one would dare. What was the question again, Greg? I have no idea. Oh, yeah, old songs. Well, I think that um, the truth of it is that we poured everything into those songs too. Mm. So it's not like we're ashamed. We really love them. I think we, we always want to be as excited about new things so that, so that they can fit with the older things. But we we kind of slaved on, on those as well. No, that's what's really nice, I think. And, and we still play. Um, Jay-Z has a line about, if you like my old stuff, buy my old albums, <laughs> which is such a, it's very simple logic. Yeah. I was like, oh yeah, he's right. <laughs> it must be exciting to put together big shows yeah, like this and fun. say, I want to do fireworks here and confetti there and whatever. No, no, absolutely. But it's like planning a wedding without having anyone to, to get, get married, married to. to. That's what it feel like. we feel like we're putting these big shows together and yeah. it's not really so it's really nice that you gave us a chance to be you be used. You're Thank welcome. You. What what are we expecting tonight from the Abbey show? I mean are we we're expecting the... bankruptcy. <laughs> <laughs> because we don't know how to do a show without spending all our money on lights and fireworks. We're not yeah. programmed to do it without that. Mm -hmm. So we'll have to get the bus home. Thank you so much for having a chat and it's very nice to see you. Can, can we, I'll come as close to that. <laughs> Enjoy the Abbey. Thank you for having us. Thanks, Greg. I will see you Thank soon. Thank you for dressing up so smartly. You're welcome. That is incredible. Thanks for watching this video from Radio 1's Big Weekend. Click the links on the screen now to check out another performance or go to BBC Sounds for more from Radio 1. Also, if you like this, click subscribe.